Ronnie's over here doing some test fitting. Probably planning on doing some welding today. Oh, dad duty calls. Open what? This. Oh, okay. Here, hold it tight. Hold it tight, and I'll open it. No, hold don't it real drink tight. That. Don't drink it. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not good water. That's tainted water. We don't drink that. Oh no! I'm gonna play in the water. You were gonna what? I'm gonna play. It You're gonna play with it? No. So we're back. Uh, so what we're trying to do today is we're trying to make a uh, like a cold air type intake for my truck. We've got one of our um, intake elbows that we make. Ronnie actually welded this one with his mastery of TIG welding since he's been practicing on our new machine. Um, we've got some just leftover pipes, some leftover couplers, things like that. We're going to see if we can uh, like measure everything out and do some welding, try to use as few couplers as possible and end up with some semblance of a, uh, of a finished product here. How confident are you, Ronnie, that we can do this? I would say like 9 out of 10. Yeah? 90%? Yeah. That's pretty good. I would say 100% if we had more parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have to make a run to AutoZone to get one of those like Spectre kits or something. <laughs> use the pipe off of it. Maybe the filter off of it. What angle do you think? Down a little bit? I think down a little bit. I mean, I'm not. I'm not worried if it rests like on this AC line. I'm not worried about that at all. We could totally do that. I'm gonna hold my pinky on the power steering so it stays above that. Okay. And then just try and line this up, son. So, if you've been watching our recent videos, uh, you probably know that the RX-7 is off getting tuned by Owen at Hawk Speed. Um, when the RX-7 is tuned and running, and I can just drive it around like whenever I want, I'm going to put a turbo on the hard body. Um, in the meantime, we figured we'd go ahead and modify the, the uh, MAF housing on it and go ahead and put an elbow on it because it's going to be, it's going to need that elbow anyways. So we go ahead and do that. We're just running a, a cold air intake for now. And um, once... Like I said, the RX-7's running. We'll put a turbo on it. And we'll already be ready to do that. Which will be nice. It will be nice. What is that? Is that your drift car? Yeah. Nice. Does it run? Yeah. Does it run awesome? Yeah. So Ronnie's over there sharpening his uh, his tungsten to start TIG welding. Uh, I wanted to give you all a quick rundown of what's going to happen with this. Um, when this thing gets turboed straight away, it's going to have uh, a T25 little turbo. Uh, it should be real responsive, like super responsive. Ronnie's truck was when he had it on T25. Um, it's going to get a T25. We're going to try to run on, on five to seven pounds. We're going to start at five, see if we can get the same 200 horsepower that we got with Ronnie's truck when he was running the same setup. Um, if everything goes well we're not going to run any kind of fuel mods any kind of ecu mods nothing like that we're going to see just how well it does if we have to retard a little bit we will if we can run some more advance we will we're going to test this thing out um hopefully get you all a bunch of data so you know like when you're turbo in your vehicle you can and can't do this I try to dispel some of the rumors um after that we're going to see about how far we can push it before the injectors starve before we start pinging, before we run into any issues. Um, after that, we are gonna go with a Mega Squirt plug and play system. Now, um, Mega Squirt makes two systems. They make one for early model and one for late, late model uh, hard bodies. They don't make them specifically for hard bodies. They make them for single overhead cam KAs, um, for early model 240SXs and late model. Oddly, the, uh, the same ECUs that they use, the plug and play systems, also work on the dual overhead cam motors. Isn't that right? The single overhead cam ones work on the dual overhead cam motors? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know what's up with that, but um, once we get the Mega Squirt plug and play in here, we're going to start pushing the boost up. See what kind of numbers we can get reliably. You know, I say reliably, you know, I mean, we're running on a 300,000 mile motor here. 
um, and we're just going to be pushing boost. Uh, I don't know if we're going to run a blow-off valve. I don't know if we're going to run an intercooler. I have no idea at this point. I just want to push these things as hard as we can and uh, get y'all some decent data. It's our new welding table that Ronnie made. I'm really taking advantage of this whole new uh, new welding machine. Alright, everybody's got to admire this. Let's see how, how Ronnie's welds have come along. My TIG welds still look like fucking scrambled eggs. <laughs> like, I don't even get here, get in here and practice, but like, Ronnie is doing a good job here. He's getting it. It's looking real good. I mean, he's sticking metal to metal, which is what's important, but it's looking real good, real clean. I'm gonna clean this weld up. Then look at it again. So party. Dang, look at that elbow. That looks right on right there. So we just need like a longer piece to come off of here and go down into the into the corner there. You think I should box this, box the filter off right here? And maybe put some sort of like, I don't know, intake hole up here. Take your headlight off? <laughs> yeah, dude. Take my headlight out. Run one headlight, get pulled over all the time by the board ass. Sierra Vista Police? I mean, whatever you, whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> Dude, that looks good. Whatever. Levi, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing? <laughs> what are you it, doing? I'm shooting video. Right. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Thanks. So, Ronnie kind of went nuts. I feel like he's, he's uh, feeling real confident in his welding skill. And he should. He should. His well is looking real good, but uh, he's gone overboard. He was. I was. I was like, oh, we'll turn it out here, and we'll bring it across here. We'll put a coupler right here and over here. And he's like, we're just gonna weld the whole thing. So it looks like that's what we're doing. Let me rephrase that. It looks like the, that's what he's doing. We're just gonna weld the whole thing. It's gonna be all welded. We're gonna sand it down, paint it. It'll be the prettiest part of my truck. <laughs> I don't know, the coilovers look pretty good. They do look good. So, our last video, or next video, next video. or... <laughs> our next video, we actually started our coilover video before this video, and we got them on. They fit well, everything's good to go. They drive well, they're amazing. Um, we haven't taken them out and beat on them, so we naturally couldn't finish the video. So, we're doing this video first, and tomorrow we're going to go out and... Uh, try to kill my hard body and the Miata together. But for now, this is what we're doing. So keep your minds on task. This is what we're doing. This right here. Ryan's over here taking the final measurements. Hey, can you hold this? Um, push down with your thumb? Just push down right here? Yeah. Not too hard. Not too hard. So like just right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're making a tab that goes over to the uh, the radiator stay. Is that what that is? The radiator stay? I think it's for your fan trap. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Fan which trap, which I don't have. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be the final piece of video that we shoot for tonight. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to sand and paint this this thing straight away. Put a filter on the end of it, and we'll do a uh, a reveal. Show you what it looks like, and congratulate Ronnie on his excellent welds. And then we'll try to break it and see if his welds break. <laughs> Dude, look at that thing. 
It's so bright. <laughs> so my daughter painted this today. Ronnie welded this together, which I'm super proud of him for. Wait a minute, let me get a better light. There we go. Boom. <laughs> which I'm super proud of him for because his welds look super good. And like, it hasn't broken yet, which is a pretty big deal. <laughs> In one day. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So we were trying to make just see if we could make a simple cold air intake for the hard body. And we did that. We took our own turbo elbow right here. I went to AutoZone and got this little three by two and a half Let inch. Let me have this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't I, see I anything you're pointing at. I got this um, thing from AutoZone. They're only three inch, so I had to use Dang. some duct tape to get it on to get it to fit well. I don't know. I might go on eBay and see if I can get a, a two and a half inch. Two but this seems inch. to work pretty good. I shouldn't try it. It just looks kind of janky. <laughs> yeah. I was like, here, Bo. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, who's we got, got duct tape there. Yeah, it's duct tape. It's a lot. Yeah, don't talk about this. This is my bad weld. Right next to our cool sticker. Yep. <laughs> Shameless plug. If you guys need a sticker, hit us up. Boom, stickers. So, it's done. It works. The truck still runs and everything. I have no, if there, I have no idea if there's any benefit to it. Um, hey, Ted, hold, hold on a second. Here. Hold on a second. Holding on. I'm frozen. There we go. Okay. Ted over here was commenting on the fact that we took the cold side and brought it over here to the hot side. But, like, you can't do this on the other side because the battery's in the way. Yeah. However, if you're trying to use our turbo elbow for a turbo, you'd be running it down in here anyway for your intercooler to come across here and then back. But what we, what we were thinking that we would do is box this off and so and put, like, an intake over here, some sort of intake hole, so cool, cool air blows in here. Maybe like this vent cooler. that you have on this cool hood. Maybe that cool vent on my cool hood. Ryan doesn't have one of these hoods. He's jelly. <laughs> Anyway, so voila, there it is. The local losers are no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the butthole is real. Mm. Whatever. No, I went good. I think we did a good job for like not knowing what we're doing and we just definitely did a good job. My twelve year old daughter painted this by the way. It looks really good. That, but she did a good job. It's so bright. Yeah, dude. It's I like glowing it. on the video. It's not as bright as my windshield banner. Me and Dominic were holding the windshield banner on the windshield today, uh -huh. and we were blinded by the sun. <laughs> like, even in the dark, this thing is bright. Hold this right here. So, I'm going to put this windshield banner on because, like, all my accents are going to be yellow, but this thing is bright. Like, even in the dark, it's crazy bright. That's crazy. So, you guys see how bright this is? This is almost white to me in person. <laughs> Like, that's how, like, not bright it is right now. Like, compared to you, this is crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> anyway, hey, this should be one of our videos soon. Soon video. Windshield banners, and I'm going to print out some die cut local loser stuff and put it on there. Nice. Yeah, Anyways. How long is that? This is six feet. Six feet? Okay. I got to order one for my truck. Maybe it's five that's not six feet. Maybe it's five feet. It's five feet. It's like five feet. It's Everything looks you. like six feet when you're short. Yeah. <laughs> It's taller than me. That's all, that's all I know. So it's nine feet. But anyways, um, if you guys need an intake elbow, we're still making them. But you got to send us a core. I made this one for Bo. I made this. Um, we're thinking about maybe making this. If it's, we... al it's almost scary to say that out loud. I know. <laughs> like, I kind of don't want you guys to know that. <laughs> Um, but we've toyed around with the idea of making and selling these type of intakes right now. Yeah, the whole the whole shebang. If you guys want them, hit us up on Instagram, send us a core, and we'll get one made and sent to you. Yeah. But that's it. Like, that's it. We're going to run oh, this. Oh, hold on. That's not it yet. I'm holding. We're going to put the stock intake back on this, and we're going to dyno it, and we're going to see what the difference is with this versus with that and stuffs. Yes, and we're also going to get... Um, Dyno results for ignition timing advance. Uh, we're going to do factory, which is 12 to 15. Yeah, something like that. And then we're going to turn it up to like 19, 20 and see what kind of um, horsepower we get just out of timing advance. You know, yeah. We did a timing advance video. We saw a, a visual and audible difference. Like the truck just lit up. It was on fire. Yeah. Not literally on fire. Because that's <laughs> it's something not, we've done in the past. That's my truck. But we'd like to get y'all some, some uh, solid timing numbers, some horsepower numbers for intakes and timing. So we're going to do that in the next week. Yeah, that should be a video coming out soon. Yep. So anyways, after all that, um, I guess that's it. That's it. Intake elbow, <laughs> intake, 
Dino video coming up soon. If you guys want to know what a stock hard bike is. coilover video coming too. Oh Without yeah. Shredding, dude. We're gonna be we out that. like drip. Yeah, we're doing that. I forgot that we put a coilover on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, lot, lots, lots happening. Lots of stuff happening. So, and we'll get to my truck eventually. Yeah, Don't dude. worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye, guys.